Welcome back, guys. My name is Game of Warrior. Today's game to be playing. It's called SpongeBob SquarePants: The Cosmic Shake, and I really don't know about this game. Like, I didn't like SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated just because of it was a little bit annoying. Like, I couldn't really play it because it was keep crashing, or it was one thing, or another thing. It was just like certain things weren't like wanting to work or certain other things were changed and were very annoying. I hope that they have fixed certain things because if so then cool but I've been very hesitant of getting this just because of that and I really hope that when I do enter the game that it's not as annoying as Rehydrated because that game was not preferably my favorite I like the original just because of it being the original and it being the way that it was, but let's just start and let's see what it is. Spot. I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready! I forgot something, I forgot something! Now I'm really ready! Now I'm really ready! Woo! I'm so excited to go to Glove World! I better meet up with Patrick before he forgets what day it is! Gotta fix the... Okay, so, uh... Options, uh... And fo photo mode, uh... Save game... Awards... Okay, so this is... So if you get it on something else other than, like, the PS4 or, or PS5 or Xbox One or some Xbox console... A console that basically has, um, trophies, or a PC that have trophies and everything, so yeah. So options, um, settings, is there any in, like, the controls? Controls... Gameplay- Oh! Gameplay! Yes, please. So, I'm gonna guess that this is the tutorial, basically showing me what I can and cannot do. Do I have any attacks? Not exactly, not right now. I can go over there to Patrick's. I know that for sure. Morning, Mrs. Puff! Oh, SpongeBob, what a surprise. Too bad I can't teach any driving lessons this weekend. The boating school is booked up. You'll have to come back sometime later this year, or maybe even the year after. <laughs> Business is booming. <laughs> Oh, Neptune is getting closer! Please don't get in the boat! Please don't get in the boat! Please don't get in the boat! Pump your brakes, kid! Okay, so... I, I like the little nods! I like the little nods! Hey, <laughs> let's make eye contact! Is that... Is, is that what's gonna happen whenever I get near someone? Is that what's gonna happen? Because if so, then I'm gonna turn off the voices and just... Yeah, that, that is gonna be something if I- at least I can turn off the voices, and that's one thing I like, like, you can go into the settings, go into the audio, and change- turn off the voices, because I didn't like that it, I had to mute a lot more than just the vo- Can I- Yes, I know, find Patrick's house, main objective. Okay, so nothing with the middle button, so... You ever get the sense you're being controlled by a higher power? Or like, some kid? Yes, this game was made for kids, but I'm not a kid. Ouch! Okay, yeah. Jellyfish, not something that I want to be near. Come back after my alarm goes off! I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule! I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. I, 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 I. Good idea! A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket. Unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, 
Officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. Thank you for showing me the basic thing that I already know. I've been doing that the whole time. Don't need to have some... Ugh. Whatever. No, 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 not you. Not today. This day will be about relaxation and inspiration. I am not to be disturbed on my precious day off. I will spend it with the love of my life. Myself. And my art, of course. Sounds fun. Can I help? For this, I need you to get something very important for me. So I see he's making bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash. Sorry, I must have missed that one. Huh, I wonder who's at fault here. Probably that guy. Oh, that guy over there? O Old man Jenkins? Quiet, man. I'm trying to sleep with my eyes open. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that... Mermaid Man sure likes to leave his invisible boatmobile exposed. So, I'm gonna guess at some point during this game, I'm gonna be able to go and drive the boats around here and everything. Makes sense that I could be able to do that soon. Yeah. Still seeing what I can do. I can't jump too far. Hi, Pearl. And how are you on this beautiful day? Oh, SpongeBob! Didn't you hear? It's a tragedy! There's a huge sale at the mall today, but because of this stupid traffic jam, none of the buses can get me there! That is a tragedy. Well, the bus to Glove World is still running. You could join me and Patrick there instead! Um, thanks, but I have a social status to uphold. You have fun without me, SpongeBob! How could this happen to me? Why is my life, like, such a tragedy? Of course, and I'm gonna guess that when I go talk to Sandy, I'm gonna learn how to fight, I guess. I'm just guessing because that's what those are. Background kids, I guess. Do I really have to talk to the characters to be able to progress anything? Because if that is so, then I will do that. I'm hungry and confused. Mommy! Howdy, SpongeBob! You're up earlier than an insomniac rooster! In the mood for a little morning karate? Love to, but we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks, but you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul, y'all. And this is when I learn how to fight and everything. Of course, yes. Square attack, no duh. It's in every game. I get how did to do I get it. Did smaller or did these tiki's get bigger? So, now back to Sandy. Why so simple and why so easy? Don't get it, but... Alright, back it up. Nothing to see here except the giant traffic jam. Did they get every single voice actor from Spongebob to do a voice for this game? At least, even a little bit. Did they get every voice actor from Spongebob? Because it really does sound like every single voice actor from Spongebob is in this game. It really does. Great job, SpongeBob! My yard's looking fine as fur on a frog! Thanks for your help, and have fun with Patrick! Now, how do I exact- oh. So basically, they took elements from Rehydrated and the SpongeBob movie, and... Of course. My beloved Bikini Bottom, the most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe, home to my friends and memories. Yes, I 
get it. If I hit her, do I get an achievement? I'm not sure, but that's what it feels like. That's what's gonna happen. And it feels. You ever get the sense? Shut up. Owie. Okay, let's just continue. I know that I'm gonna. Oh wait, can I? Can I do this? Oh, I can talk to Gary probably. Good morning, Gare Bear. Hello. I'm glad to see you and Spot doing something for the environment. It's not waste if you don't waste it. <laughs> so, is Spot a new character that they added later in the series or something? Because I really don't know about um Spot and everything. Like, I really don't know about Spot because I have never seen Spot. Um, spot in the series like I have seen up seen after season three and everything like after the movie of course I have seen the show and everything but it's like it's like um I haven't really seen any of the modern episodes of Spongebob so it's spot a modern episode and everything because if so then okay Good I guess morning best friend are you ready for a lovely adventure not nah. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. One loading screen later. <laughs> Look, Patrick. Cool kids. <laughs> Hi. Meh. <laughs> I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Hmm. Nah. No, still not cool enough. Huh? <gasps> Can I have this? What, this old piece of... Magic and mystery? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Woo! Two hours later. I wish. No. I wish. No. I wish. I like they... foods. Okay. My first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. <laughs> Balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Nifty bubble! <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, Only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, Property of King Neptune. Not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Uh oh. Oh no! 
Well, Patrick, what have we done? Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! Oh, I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this. See, SpongeBob? Oh, I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! And this is when it starts. Basically, this random mermaid comes out of nowhere and... I think Squidward is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. Maybe, but he probably went into a dimension... My rock! My beautiful giant rock! All that's left are my... Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now how am I going to remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Yeah, of course, and... Yeah, I know how to do this. I get it. Can I get back to the game? Don't like that the game holds my progression. Do not like it, but... I do understand why Patrick is a balloon, just because he basically can Ouch. do- Looks pretty broken. Yeah, no duh. No duh it looks broken because you did this! Okay, can't go up there, obviously. I can finally- hey, Ouch! I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh, yeah. That's a good stuff. Of course it is. So when do I get into the portal that everyone went into and start actually doing something other than just the tutorial? Can I stop doing the tutorial or do I have to do the tutorial? Of course, so I'm gonna go and float on the pizza and everything because sure I I'm flying! Okay, so I'm gonna have to jump and I can't double jump and everything to do it or maybe I can maybe I can A little dabble do ya So am I gonna be able to go over there eventually or wait if I do it this way maybe my adorable cuties, you survived this calamity. No, oh, Madam Cassandra, we were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom, and now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and, 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 well, I miss my Gear Bear! <laughs> oh, this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble extravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent. Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. Oh, boys! You must be a I look like some kind of pastoral cattle rancher. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. 
Okay, so I've entered camera mode. Did not mean to do that. Because it's squishy. School's out, SpongeBob. I have a bit of a heated situation here. Of course, of course. So at some point, I'm gonna be driving, I guess, or doing stuff that I need to be doing. This is a weird game, but I'm glad that they fixed a lot from Rehydrated because Rehydrated. Well, I didn't like a lot of stuff in that, and I am glad that I can at least not have to deal what with about that here. Friends might be on the other side of this portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. Yes, but I was on my way to go over to here. Okay, that's not good. So, am I not going to be able to do that yet? Makes sense I'm not going to be able to do that yet, but... Yeah, let's just keep moving forward, I see. A strong feeling we're not in Bikini Bottom anymore. Looks more like the Wild West. Yeet! Ho! Yeet! Ho! Yeet! Ho! So, if I collect all the collectibles in an area, do I get something for it or what? Sorry, partner. I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money. Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Of course, so, Shoot, um... What a fun ride! Yeah, let's get in line and ride it again. Can I speak here, or are you just gonna continue speaking? Because I can turn off the, the voices. Thank you goodness I'm able to do that because I really did not like the constant okay, voices Cassandra wants with this stuff the only thing I make out of jelly is jelly sandwiches Patrick Cassandra knows what she's doing if she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back then bring her jelly we shall of course that's is there something that I'm Am I gonna be getting something if I come down to here or something? I got you, buddy. Yeah, that that that's not good. But I'm now seeing why um Patrick was a thing that I need to um have as a companion. Like he's my um Hans and everything, basically the giant hand that usually saves SpongeBob and everything and um rehydrated. Um, sure, why not? I was hitting. Sometimes a hitbox is not something that I like. Huh? When it's <gasps> what is it, SpongeBob? What do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Particles, it's so small. We'll never fit in there. Why do we have to be so big? Oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just it's just very, very far away. We're safe, Patrick! It's Mrs. Puff! If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her. Catch up with her. She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first. Just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. Obviously, this is going to be a thing in each portal. Basically, there's going to be characters that look the same, but huh. aren't the same. Maybe but... we can take this path later. But who knows? Maybe not. So it's locking my progression until I get a new ability and everything. 
Makes sense. Why would it not? It's what is that should cover my buns. Sticky sweet. Am I gonna get anything for going and doing this? Because I really need to be doing this correctly. I really be needing to do this correctly and yeah, I would like to thank you for the checkpoint at least. And Okay, so I just go in between, or in the circle, of course, and then they get gravitated towards me. Interesting game! I'm glad that they fixed the the, the annoying problems of the last game, because the, the annoying problems of the last game rehydrated. Really it was just are, very friend. annoying. I, like, I understand, like, the voices make the characters, and it makes the world alive and everything, but didn't need to be told every... Seriously? So you're going to buns? You're going to bring me pairs of underwear if I'm down on health. Thank you at least. That that is really good. And okay, so not really uh, an obstacle. What's this luggage doing in the middle of the desert? I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. Maybe, but then why are the creatures around here wearing the underwear and the luggage stuff? Look, more loose luggage. No duh. How do we get across? I think that's a button. Yeah, no duh. Can I? Thank you. And I. How many abilities am I gonna be getting? Pursue that paraphernalia. Oh! Of course. So it knocks the enemies I out, I, feel like I, I guess. I've several near death experiences on this ranch before. Yeah, it's the Wild West for you. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What's she doing on a ranch? Mmm, I love ranch. Of course you do, Patrick. Of course you do, but. I saw Shiny over there! Sounds like an adventure within our adventure. Yeah. Double adventure. C can I just do this without you needing to spew um, dialogue every few seconds? Because that would be fantastic. That would be very, very good and very handy. Because I really don't need dialogue spewed out every few seconds. That's just very annoying in my opinion. Because I, I don't mind the dialogue very so. Once in a while, I... Uh-oh. Not go. Let's try this again, and let's do this correctly, I guess, because apparently I'm going to guess that I'm... Jelly. I'm going to guess that I'm going to need to be up here. If I can actually... Thank you. Don't know why you weren't grabbing when I wanted you to, but... You weren't. I'm gonna guess that token right there is the token I need to be getting for some reason. I don't know exactly for why I'm gonna be needing Just the token. Look at that. Shiny. I really don't understand why I need the token, but I have it, I guess. Howdy, strangers. You came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. <laughs> it's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license? Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fay. And I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna be able to do this because Spongebob has been able to do this before, or what? 
The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. So there are golden spatulas and everything, but the golden spatulas are more of a rare commodity in this, I'm gonna guess. This game is weird. This game is weird, but I wouldn't put it past Spon a SpongeBob game to be weird. But I am gonna need to ride this seahorse now. Uh, Mrs. Puff, I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, so any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready? And go! Uh, of course, so I'm going to have to learn how to ride and do what I need. Thank you. I get the gist of what I have to do. I don't. SpongeBob, jump! Yeah, no duh. So well I'm. Done, SpongeBob, you scored thirty-five point seven points. So I'm gonna go around. So I'm gonna Phew. guess. That was a close one. So I'm gonna guess that with um. Yeah, why not? Why? Why not? I'm, okay, thank you. I really don't like that. I keep finding the glitches. I really don't like that. means stop oh dear you have six points <laughs> out of seven <laughs> only one point away from passing yay oh can we repeat the test it was so much fun oh no that's not necessary I, I didn't know you had fun fun is worth an extra point <laughs> here's your license thanks partner Oh, license! Yeehaw! SpongeBob! Hey! Hold your horses! Oh, I don't think she can! This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse like animals. With the exception of. Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. And fail it like you always do because you're never gonna because you're not supposed to actually get it. But ah, we made it to Manta Fey, my floating friend. My butt is killing me from all that riding you had to do. Um, sure, why not? Let's go into here. I mean, it's the sheriff. Now look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie. But hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, in. Better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sips straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! So I just have to go and take out the jelly bandits. She's gonna notice that I can fight and do this and then I'm gonna win the respect of Sandy so then she goes in and Sticky. ain't you fuller of surprises than my socks after a sandstorm taking on them jelly bandits like that let's see what you're really made of grab your straw so i'm still gonna have to do the drinking contest and everything of course Salute. Chug, 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 chug. 
So it's a mini game and everything. Makes sense that it is. And I don't have to be that precise. I really don't have to be that precise. I, I just do have to, yeah. Red-handed bandits, bandits took over our cactus farms. We've been running low on supplies. Any chance you can go up to Captain Hills and fetch some more cactus juice for us? The sooner we can finish our duel, the sooner I can solve your crab case. So basically, that's Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob's gonna find him up there, and there he's gonna send them back home. I guess. Okay, I guess. Don't you worry, Sheriff. Deputy SpongeBob. And Balloon Deputy Patrick are on the case. <sighs> I don't like cactuses. They're not even pretty. They're just green, juicy, and thorny. Like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Of course. Uh -oh. Looks like it okay, I'm to... skipping this just because I I get what I need to do. I've done it already once, so I don't understand why it's like I have to do it now. Maybe that kind of familiar looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%, I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them cacteen hills. And don't ye scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick. Let's find those thorny cucumbers. Of course. So, yeah, SpongeBob really does not realize that that was, um... Mr. Krabs, of course, and this is, of course, so that, that is something that I'm going to do, but I am just going to leave this here just because, yeah, I am, this game is weird, and I, um, well, this is weird, I am glad that they fixed a lot from Rehydrated game and everything, but, um, yeah, I am just glad that they fixed a lot, and I am glad that it's not as annoying as that game and everything, because I am just glad, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to continue this game. If I do, then I do. If I don't, I don't, but I am, am curious on what's going to happen. I am curious, but I will figure that out maybe next episode. I'm not really sure, but anyway, I am just going to leave this episode here, and I am just going to go. Yeah. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give a boy the subscribe button, and I'll see you all guys in the next. Bye -bye.